Shield, you foul creatures. Thank you for aiding me, but I sense you came for a different purpose. Let's talk inside the cavern. another way. No, my lady, of course not. I'll do as you ask. Come here, Outlander. We must talk. It feels strange to talk to an Outlander in such a sacred place, but the Queen of the Night Sky insists. Words of truth from the mouth of an Outlander. Remarkable. The Red Exiles and a few others believe that Chodala is the Nerevarian. He's convinced them, but not me. Perhaps, but I must remain impartial. If someone else reveals the flaws in Chodala's claims by comparing him to the failed incarnates, that might do the trick. We thought the incarnates were possessed by the spirit of Nerevar, but each had a critical flaw that made them destined to fail to fulfill the prophecy. Take this pouch of blessed grave dust. We need knowledge to defeat Chodala Outlander. Listen well to what the failed incarnates have to say. Once I was the hope of my people, but then my claim was proven false. To fulfill the prophecy, I followed a path of blood and war. In the end, my path became a road that led nowhere, and I was cast down from my lofty spot. We are the failed incarnates, the Ashlanders who proudly proclaimed themselves to be the Nerevarians but were found wanting. Take my scroll and help the wise woman see the lie of unbridled power. Nerevarin remains a promise unfulfilled, and I am as guilty of prideful posturing as every other failed incarnate that occupies this hall. The Nerevarin must listen, as well as proclaim. I refuse to accept wise counsel. Mortal, let us speak. I foresaw your usefulness before you even set foot in Vardenfell. Now comes a test that will challenge your ability to separate truth from lies. Doversy's wisdom outshines most other mortals. She recognizes the futility of Chodala's claim. If your instincts serve you well, Chodala's path took a dark turn. However, my sight clouds when I look too closely. So Thessil built Sunara, but he did not create it with this vile purpose in mind. Then go. Return to Aldrun and help the wise woman reveal the falsehood of Chodala's claim. And helping that arrogant imposter? Whatever gave you the idea that I was helping that murderer? Varden, 
Use what the Incarnate shared with you. Due to an ancient pact, I am not permitted to interfere in the affairs of Nern.
You've returned. The wise woman returned from the cavern of the incarnate and went right into Scar to meet with the tribes. Ah, of course. Use the tales of the failed incarnates to counter Chodala's arguments. That's brilliant. An outlander has no status in the council. The Ashlanders won't listen to a word you say. Someone else has to present the arguments. Someone they trust. I suppose that means I have to challenge my brother. Meet me inside. Obvious that I'm the narrow bearing. Someone has stepped forward to challenge your claim, Chodala. Seren, I'm disappointed in you, dear sister. Enough. I shall hear your arguments and render my decision. Even the Outlander can see that I'm the most powerful Ash Khan. My strength alone proves that I am the narrow bearing. Chodala puts forth his great strength as proof of his claim. Chodala puts forth his... Yes. That's... Incarnate, appear! As a warrior and as an Ashkar, I was the most powerful of my age. But for all my strength, I failed my people. Don't follow my example. The faithless houses dare to threaten our land, but we shall meet them in battle, and I will lead us to victory. This is more nerve-wracking than I anticipated. That makes sense. Incarnate, appear! I thought the path to the Nerevarian was a path of blood and battle, but my love of war was my undoing. War is not the way. These failed incarnates prove nothing. I need no counsel but my own, as befits my status as the Nerevarian. I think it's working. What? Of course. Incarnate, appear! I refuse to accept the counsel of the wise women of the Ashkans. I thought I knew best. That is not the way of the Nerebarian. Seren and the Outlander, their arguments have merit. Chodala, we deny your claim. You are not the Nerebarian. This proves nothing! Look how the staff protects me! I am the Nerebarian! Red Exile, Brother, no! <laughs>
Go to my hut and get my healer's sack. Now I hate what my joy has become. <gasps> Mortal, I would have words with you. Chodala has been revealed as a failed Nerevarian, but that hasn't dissuaded him from his reckless course of action. Time is against you, mortal. Even now, Vivek, that pompous usurper, grows increasingly weaker. As Return to Vivek City. Do what you can to aid Vivek, and pay heed to my faithful vessel, Saren. I name her Champion of the Moon and Star. That was... exhilarating. One day I'll meet an outlaw who pays a bounty without complaint. Will do. Good. That's good.
Bones? Most outsiders would honor Lamarck with useless baubles and incense. Your gift shows wisdom. Place it before. We sing the truth songs because we do not forget the truth of Nerevar. A fire rages in your heart. That much is clear. We seek silence and little else. In their hearts? Yes. In their minds? No. and steel pleases us. More importantly, it pleases the spirit of our first Ashkan, Shaddaa. We speak death for the enemies of the Ashlanders. The tribe shows mercy when it suits us. You surprise me, outsider. All here assembled say you are both brave and courteous. A hero worthy of praise. Yet, I still sense a hidden motive. I do not know this name, Hilaron, but there is an ancestral tomb nearby. It hides among the rocks to the west, beyond the... No, but I have heard their cries. some first-rate diplomacy. You're practically a clan friend already. No surprise there. Without communion, our ancestors grow agitated. Would you? What a relief. Anything that could prove it's my family's tomb. Seals, engraving. Outsider, you bear our crest, but your blood runs dry as ash. You are no Hellerot. If you come as a friend, prove your intent, pay homage, or join us again. We were 
nomads once. It was Saint Bellon's doing. We gave our hearts. The scar fell. My people cried out for the fire. With crops and strong First Ashkan's crew old died. Two Ashkan's took their place. I sometimes forget. The courage and vigor of the flesh. Years harden us, make us cold and suspicious. Truly? The Hleron name survives? Then there is hope for our house after all. Yes, tell him that Aldrin was, is, and forever shall be our home. So long as my house lives in exile, the spirits that haunt this tomb shall never know peace. The children of Ash may have forgotten our name, but they will not have forgotten that spear. You're back. Just in time, too. The Ashlander's mood has soured since you set out. Is this...? By the three, this is Calderas, the Hilaron Spear of Myth. I've seen illustrations, but I never thought I'd hold it in my hands. So my ancestors fought alongside the Ashlanders to bring down the great Emperor Crab. Unbelievable. Yes, in the shadow of Scar, we found our home. There are few things more sacred than a dead hero's wish. I will see our home rebuilt, our two wise mothers. I apologize for my haste earlier. I was simply desperate to reunite with my ancestors. That spear... I sense... Where did you come by it? Our mutual friend found it in my family's tomb. It belonged to my ancestor, Dranoth Laren. Dranoth? Wise one, isn't that... 
Yes, the unsung, wiped from our history when he led his kin away from the Velothi path. You know him then? Dranoth battled Scar alongside your people, didn't he? He used this spear to fell the beast. Yes, Dranoth's kin, your kin, were once clan friends. When Dranoth left the path, our Ashkan slaughtered him and his people. A sin that still haunts us. We rarely speak of it. Perhaps we can make amends. I have no quarrel with the tribes, but my ancestors have claim here. Aldrin was... is our home. Absolutely not. The houses claim our land, our livelihoods. They will not take Scar from us as well. Farseer, I have no desire to displace anyone. I will welcome the Velothi people to my table. Your pilgrimages, your cans, your celebrations, all will remain as it is. You have my word. The sins of your great houses do not wash away the unsung's claim. The Velothi people honor the past, even when it is inconvenient. Settle here if you wish, son of Dranoth. I only pray that Scar is big enough for both of us. Thank you, wise one. You honor me and my ancestors. I vow to show your people equal respect. <laughs>